Hey, what's up guys, Susur. So, I mostly make videos about playing solo in zombies. So I thought I would make a video about a co-op strategy in Setsubu no Shima. Alright, so the first thing your team should focus on is getting set up. And what I mean by this is that you should get all the good weapons, all the things you need if you want the spider bait, go and get that, if you want the monkey bombs, go and get that. Just get ready for the high rounds. And then you should also complete the easter egg, which might be a little difficult if you're not that good at Setsubunoshima, but it's a really short easter egg, so it should be doable. So when you've done that, you should uh, take this elevator down to this really good camping spot. And down here, you're basically gonna be camping. So you wanna get some really good camping weapons for this. And I've already made a video about some really good uh, Black Ops 3 camping weapons and zombies, so I will leave that video down in the description. But the weapons that I used for this strategy was in the lower rounds, so round 45, right? Right now, I was using the Dingo and the Dragon, and of course the Mass Immune, which is a uh, must. Everyone on your team should have the Mass Immune. But on the higher rounds, I changed the Dingo with the ICR because I was running out of ammo with the Dingo, and I wanted to get another weapon that I could buy ammo for. So I changed it with the ICR with the Dead Wire on, and the Dragon. You can really, you can actually still use the dragon in round 54, I think. Yeah, you could still do a lot of damage to the zombies. So they you definitely get some kind of sniper. I would recommend the dragon because you know it does a lot of damage and it's semi-automatic, so it's really great sniper fire rounds. So on round 58, we accidentally went down because we were upgrading some weapons and we just got overrun. But luckily, I had the imprint plant. Uh, I didn't record this, so this is seen from Adam's perspective. And Adam is the guy wa I was playing with. Uh, his YouTube channel will be in the first link in the description. So. The thing is, my computer went out of battery right here, and my screen went completely black, I couldn't hear anything, or see anything, so th that's why I'm shooting the ground with an ICR right now. Uh, I thought I had the mass immune on, so I thought I would survive, but I didn't. So we died on round 58. Uh, we were aiming for round 60, but I kinda fucked up and died. So the game ended for me at about 2am, so you know, it, it was kinda late too. So as I said, Adam's YouTube channel will be in the description. He streamed the whole game from round 36, I believe, to around uh, 68. So if you want to check out how he died or something, you can go and check that out. And I have a link for that in the description too. So that is basically it. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.